Frege's oral project fails because of a paradox that was discovered by Bernard Russell. Bernard Russell, in a letter to Frege, states that I find myself in complete agreement with you in all essentials, particularly when you reject any psychological element in logic and when you place a high value upon an ideography for the foundations of mathematics and of formal logic, which incidentally can hardly be distinguished. But then he continues that there is just one point where I have encountered a difficulty. You state that a function too can act as the indeterminate element. This I formerly believed, but now this view seems doubtful to me because of the following contradiction. Let W be the predicate. To be a predicate that cannot be predicated of itself. So W is the predicate to be a predicate that cannot be predicated of itself. All those objects all those predicates that cannot be predicated of itself falls under w can w be predicated of itself from each answers from each answer its opposite follows there we have the contradiction frege's reaction to this contradiction or paradox is found in his appendices of his grundgesetze Hardly anything more unwelcome can befall a scientific writer than to have one of the foundations of his edifice shaken after the work is finished. This is the position into which I was put by a letter from Mr. Mr. Bernard Russell as the printing of this volume was nearing completion. The matter concerns my basic law 5. So the paradox is about basic law 5. As you remember, Frege's theorems are based on Hume's principle. Hume's principle in Grundgesetze is based on basic law 5. And basic law 5 is about extensions. Extension of two concepts is identical if and only if whatever falls under one concept falls under another concept. But there is a paradox. There is, there is something paradoxical with this idea. In the rest of this part I will reform, I will use Edward Zalta's reformulation of the paradox since it is not easy to follow Frege's own formulation of the paradox in his two dimensional notation. We will use Edward Zalta's notation or Edward Zalta's formulation. This is our starting point. This is something Frege accepts for all f. There is an extension of that f, f is a concept, there is an extension of f for all x, x is an element of this extension, extension of f, if and only if x is an f. If this concept f is concept of being a philosopher and y is the extension of being a philosopher, then x is an element of the extension of being a philosopher if and only if x is a philosopher. Socrates is an element of this extension of being philosopher if and only if Socrates is a philosopher. But from this we will derive a contradiction. First part is this universal quantifier. Let's do universal instantiation. So in this instantiation we have this concept instead of F. The concept lambda Z, Z is not element of Z, is substitute for F. Since this is allowed for all concepts, it says for all F, we can use this concept. If this is true, this must be true as well. Then let's do here lambda conversion since we have a function here and an argument. Just we will apply this argument to this function. And we have this, this result. X is not an element of X. The rest is same. Then let's do existential 
instantiation we have since we have here existential quantifier and for y we have b here b is substitute for y now we have a universal quantifier let's do universal instantiation b there is a substitution of b for x then b is element of b if and only if b is not an element of b it means that b is an if b is an element of b then b is not an element of b if b is not an element of b then b is an element of b so we have a contradiction then Frege's system is inconsistent then his system fails that's the end of Russell's paradox part. Thanks.